Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Stash and Bass. It is windy today. I'm gonna make this quick video. I had a conversation with some guys on Facebook today and they were talking about line going on the reel. There was somebody who posted up a picture and his line was bunched up on one side more than the other and he was asking why that happens. So I'm going to explain how to get rid of that, how to avoid that happening to you, keep a nice, straight, flat, smooth reel, and you'll be on your way to catching the big one. Okay, so to start this video, I'm going to use just some old backing line that I have laying around. I don't have, I was going to re-spool my Corrado, but I don't have the line that I want to put on it right now, so I need to wait on that. So I just put this trusty loose classic on an old broken 13 fishing rod, and I'm going to try and show you guys what I'm talking about. So to begin with, whenever you go to start putting the line on your reel, you want to put your line through your line guide. Now. The point that I was trying to make was you want to make sure that your line starts and stays center the entire time, otherwise you're going to get more of a bunch. There's other reasons, like if, like if your worm gear is, is dirty or gunky, you might want to clean that out. That could stop it from going, going smooth side to side. And there's a few other factors too, but this is just the one that I was trying to make. So whenever I tie my line on, I just use a piece of tape. I've, I've mentioned that in other videos. So to begin, we're gonna do it the, what I say, the wrong way. So we're gonna, I'm only planning on doing this twice. So we're gonna do it one extreme to the other. So you're gonna put your line through your line guide and then tie your knot around your reel or use your tape or however you wanna do it. Now, since we've started out on the far side, we're going to keep our line off to the side. This was my point that you want to make sure everything's centered. So if I do that and I start reeling, you're going to start to see it bunching up already. It's already starting to favor heavy on that left side. See how that one's filled up and that one's filled up? Let's keep going. Now hopefully you all can see what I'm talking about. Let me take this phone off of here. Now you all can clearly see the gap on this side versus the gap on this side. This side is much smaller than that side. The reason is because the line went off centered. And, and I heard a bunch of you say that if you just keep spooling it, it will correct it. No, it will not correct it. It will just get worse, as you can see. The more that I put on there, the heavier it got on that left side. Now, let's take this line off, and then we'll do it the other way, and we'll see what kind of a situation we're in. Okay, now for the second round, we're gonna do the exact same thing, same sticker, same way of mounting everything. The only thing we're gonna do different is we're gonna put the line through the first guide of the rod, just to keep it centered, which is the whole point of this. Then we're gonna center up our line guide, go straight through, and connect it with our sticker. Now just like the other one, we're just going to start reeling. Man, this wind. Alright, and as you guys can see, we are even. We have the same distance on both sides. It's not bunched up on one, it's ready to go. 
All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I hope that explains my point. I hope you all see where I'm coming from there. Everybody has their own way of doing things. That's perfectly cool. I just have mine. This is my explanation of that. So I hope it helps some of you guys. Till next time, get out there, go fishing. Thank you.